But not born of humans, Mr. Bergen. The IRTA was very clear on this. Besides, the last thing this world needs is more racial tension. What about the 108th hybrid? Fei Li has gone underground and remains at large, but she can't stay hidden forever. Does it really matter? What harm can one woman do? Mr. Bergen, what happens if another Amida comes along? Only this time, instead of staying underground, the Hollow Children decide we're a threat. If that happens, who do you think they'll look to for a leader? I've got a feeling this is not the end. I have a feeling I may have gotten her pregnant during that scene, too. Okay! Wow! Oh, shit! What can I say? What can I say? Alright, shooting here, top notch. I gotta give the shooting action top notch. I gotta give the voice acting, um, even though they, hit, they did have some cheesy moments, it's all fun and games, you know, it's not trying to take itself too seriously. And that's great, because this is a, a, a futuristic sci-fi concept, and I don't want to dive into the whole Blade Runner seriousness aspect. Not too often. This is a nice change um, compared to Deus Ex when it comes to futuristic type of games, or cyberpunk, we'll say. Um, but the one thing, the one goddamn thing, or two things, is... One, get rid of those goddamn fucking quick time events. Um, unlike the Yakuza method, these guys go with the old school, you miss it, you die. And it's not, it's not like it's incredibly unfair, but it's the fact that you do not occur these as often as in Yakuza. Let's say, example, Yakuza boss battle. You know that a boss might engage some kind of a quick time event interaction, and if you miss it, well, you just miss a bit of a bit of HP. But when you succeed it, then it's like, all right, you got uh, you got your heat up. You know, it's not an incredibly punishing thing, but if you succeed it, you get a bonus. On this one, you miss, you fuck up. Um, they don't occur that often, and sometimes you barely barely see them coming. And it's a bad mix because there's oftentimes you'll see events, cool cutscenes where your characters are just running in the fray. And it's like, all right, this is a cutscene, everything works. And then let's say 10 cutscenes after, oh shit, quick time event, pick up your controller. Um, or especially that last one. I was kind of expecting a quick time event, but then. I didn't think it would work since I used up all my photon charge, but I get, hey, mysterious burst attack that just, that it's there, you can use it now. But I had zero during the fight. What what happened there? Oh, well, magic, Deus Ex Machina, bam. Um, people need to use that less often. And I, I highly doubt Dead Souls is going to have any because it's a game that's made the last year and this is their latest project. And another thing, the, those, how can I, uh, how can I name those? Those action scenes, the car ride scene, please take example from Saints Row 2 and Saints Row 3 multiplayer. If you're having a drive scene, then the driver has to be stable to let the player take the shots or else things become a mess, a huge fucking mess. And that was, I think that was Saints Row, sir, some of Saints Row 1's driving scenes that they made better in Saints Row 2. Those turret scenes, whatever. And then no more giant robot, giant robot type of shit, please don't. I saw that in Fear 2, I hated that part because it wasn't that coherent. It's a massive gameplay change. It's a long, no more of that. Because what I was truly enjoying 
in the entire game is the shooting mechanic, how it felt, how it could interact with my ally, and how great it felt when I was popping headshot and getting Kring! and then having those enemy turns and turn against others. Um, the whole dismantling system was amazing. I want more of that. This makes this makes it much more fun than taking out zombies and left for not left for dead. I didn't play left for dead that much. Um, other example would have been Dead Island. Yes, makes it much more entertaining than dismantling zombies in Dead Island because you do get to see the consequences and you have to change your tactic with consequences. And especially upgrading your weapon. Man, that gets to be extremely fun. But uh, it, it just gets a bit tarnished in my view with those goddamn quick time events and action scenes and gameplay breaking system because they haven't been integrated to the gameplay they're just they just hit you from the side and then it's like all right well radical change and then we're gone no longer but still i like this game and i'll be playing multiplayer and doing another playthrough as well on my own in hd but what's going on here kenshiro His mouth wasn't moving. Doesn't he look a bit like Chris Redfield now? Beat it, fellas. Damn. How did you find me? You need to cover your tracks better, farm girl. Maybe I wanted you to find me, Yankee. And so Dan became Chris Redfield. <laughs> Somehow. No, I like that. I like that ending. Wow, that was a fun ride, and I imagine I unlocked another difficulty. This was normal mode. Oh, I have chapter select, which is in campaign. So, uh, in this mode, any stage cleared, new stage clear time can be set, but the progress cannot be selected. Okay, so you have one, two, six. Not bad. Each of them are around an hour each, an hour and more. Because there are stuff you can look um, look for. Ah, and you do get a security com counter too. Interesting. Last difficulty is Survivor. If I do a new game. Interesting. I might do a new game on Survivor. I already finished Res Them Up. And... Yeah, I guess that's about it. So, yeah, I really like this game. I want to play the online a bit more as well, because it gives me that Metal Gear Online feeling. And, as you know, Metal Gear Online is shutting its doors this June. June or July. So, yeah, Metal Gear Online is shutting its doors. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to go online. Or else people are going to ask to go on Call of Duty. But, um, so, seeing that MGO is shutting its doors... I'll be happy to stick with this game. Uh, MGO had a few glitches and evil little tricks, and so far this one doesn't, but we gotta wait and see, you know, people can always find exploits online.
Uh, I'm already seeing level 50s in Japan from Japan going into the US server, so you do know a lot of people play this game um, <laughs> during the Japanese launch. And then they came to the American servers and just looked like level 50s. But yeah, can't wait. Lots of fun with that. Another thing I want to see on another playthrough I'll do. Uh, for my own is going to see if I can have some of the events change. Um, I don't know how far things go. I don't I really can't get this uh, type of a system. I, I couldn't fully analyze the system when it came to the decisions but but I'm interested in seeing what could happen. I mean you guys know this Kane just vanished. Um, Shindo kind of died. Maybe that could have been saved. Bo, Bo died. I don't know. What, what would happen if I was a t complete douchebag with Fei Li? Um, I want to see that. I really want to experiment with that. So, that's why I'm going to go through another run through. And maybe I should check out if there's any other achievements. Because, you know, maybe achievements could give me hints on what I need to do or what can change. So let's go look at games, trophy collection, binary domain, hold on. Huh. Interesting. Some of them don't update. I got a gold trophy. That's for clearing the last chapter. Add each teammate to the party at least once. I did. No, wait, I didn't add Charlie. He's a douche. See the love scene with Faye. Oh, that could have been spoiled. Watch out. Unless... Unless there are hidden trophies. Okay. Alright. Hidden. Interesting. Uh, get into Grand Lancer's head. This is easy. Destroy all... Huh? Destroy the iron wheels for engine. Didn't I? Huh? Smash bonus is in one campaign. Really? Okay. Multi kill bonus. Oh, okay. One shot bonuses. I could have just sniped. First aid to revive teammates. Oh, I'd have to run at them. Access all shopping terminals. Weird. And a bunch of other hidden trophies. Huh. Fully upgrade one weapon category. Interesting. So there's there's the fate trust, and I imagine the other ones are uh, character trust. There's no new game plus. Uh, what else? Collect all secure com. Get what? Get all nano machine within one playthrough. Okay, that could be done. Clear all trail. Oh God, survivor. Uh, win an online match. Clear a stage in invasion. That's very difficult. Um, is it? Yeah. Battle Master, huh? Veteran reach level 50, clear all online challenges. Trophies aren't that impossible. They're not, um, they're not, how can I say? They're not Call of Duty impossible or they're not Lost Planet 2 impossible. So, there you go. If you're a trophy person, replay the game. There's alternate scenes, and I guess if you max a person's trust, there will be alternate scenes. And I guess I'll have to make little update videos on that, just to tell you what happens. I'm definitely going to play through this game again, but I'm going to give it a break, because, well, I'm a tad bit jaded of quick time events, and I don't want to face any more quick time events until it's either Dead Souls, or my... Um, what was it? My uh, As Asuras are left uh, riff track that I'm possibly or possibly not doing depending if I get the game lent to me or not. So I hope you enjoy this game. I'm supporting this game. I like the effort they've done with their third person shooter based type of game and um, I want to see more of that. Uh, especially the boss fights. The boss will rarely bullshit you. Rarely. And that's good. That's how you do a boss. It's not too scripted. Until you spam photon blast, but that was funny. Anyway, I guess I'll make another video with those notes. 
Later, people, and please support Team CS1 by Sega, making Yakuza and Binary Domain and all these other games. Support these guys.